I agree to you all in Jesus' name. Amen. This is not a position that I am well known for, but I will do what I can in Jesus' name. The scripture reading came to us from Luke 6, reading from verse 43 to 49. It says, For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather the grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart the mouth spe speaketh. We worship the Lord. Bless the Lord. When Sister Amelia was reading the scripture reading, uh, verse 43 st stood out to me, which says that uh, a good tree bringeth forth not corrupt fruit. We bless the Lord. And today we learned in the lesson that um, though we may face adversities, it's the adversities which strengthens our character. So if we feed ourselves with things that are corrupt, then the fruit that we will bear is those that are of a corrupt nature. We praise the Lord. He says that a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. And it, then he goes on to say, uh, for of the abundance of the, the heart, the mouth speaketh. So whatever it is that comes out of us, it is what is in our heart. So if we feed ourselves daily with the word of the Lord, then that is what will come out from us. We praise the Lord. He says that... All right, so it slipped me. It's something of the vessel saying that they cannot dwell in dirty vessel. I'm not new wine, right? Cannot be cannot be placed in a dirty vessel. So whatever it is that we are putting in us, if it is something that is good, then that is what will come out. We praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. And why call he me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock, and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did not did beat vehemently and immediately it fell. And the ruin of the house was great. Bless the Lord. So the verse is basically showing to us that if we are going to call upon the Lord and claim him to be our God, then we should do whatever he asks of us to do. He says that when we hear and we do, we do not do them, we are like a man that built our foundation upon a rock that, will, rock that will be swept away when the floods come. And we don't want to be swept away that easily. We want it to be, we want to be, sorry, firmly grounded, rooted in the name of Jesus, that when he so comes our call, we will be a part of his kingdom. 